morning. I'm off to work, but this morning I'm being taken out to breakfast by my boss as a kind of good job. Thank you for all the work I've done this month. So that's nice. So I'm looking forward to that, especially since I haven't eaten yet. I did have some coffee, but I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to head out and get some yummy breakfast. I'm home. Went to the gym. Zumba. I haven't been to Zumba in quite a long time, but it was good. It was all Christmas songs, so that was fun. And now I'm going to find something light to eat and then shower. And don't know what else will happen. Probably not much, but we will see. Getting ready to head to bed, but I wanted to let you know Scott and I watched the Netflix movie Klaus or Claus. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but it's a Netflix original animated movie that they added for the holiday season this year. And it was quite good and quite entertaining to the point where Scott did not think he would like it. And ended up actually really liking it, so that was nice. So we watched that, showered, and as I said, getting ready to head to bed. But as I'm stopping and thinking about things, I have a bit more to do tomorrow than I realized. Some of it that must get done, and some of it that's just fun stuff I wanted to do. And I also have to work a half day, so... That's half the day I'll be at work and can't do other stuff. We've decided we're going to go to Scott's parents tomorrow night, so we will see how the day goes and what I'm able to get accomplished. But a couple things I wanted to share with you. One is that I'm finding it interesting because on my last vlog, as you know if you've watched, I talked about my giveaway but I did not put it in the title and I did not put it in my tags or anything like that all I did was put the rules in the description and I'm finding that people are finding that video who don't normally watch my channel and I'm wondering how that's happening because if they search giveaway and it's not in the title it's not in the tags is it coming up just because of the description box? I don't know, but it is interesting, so we'll see what happens over the next few days. But I will say that I am feeling a little bit bad because I was really striving to get all of the Vlogmas done for you before Christmas this year, because it always ends up being a little bit after Christmas. But it looks as though that's not going to happen because the last one I posted went up to, I want to say like the 17th and I haven't even started to do anything with the rest of the footage. And typically those take me at least three hours, sometimes more, to edit. So there's no way I'm going to get that done tomorrow. Or Christmas Day. So you will be having a little bit of Vlogmas after Christmas, but hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you still enjoy it. And pause a moment for me to show you the other thing I want to, tell, to share with you. Well, I don't have the patience to put it on right now, so I will have to get Scott's help tomorrow, but I can at least show you. I My birthday gift came belated but it came uh, not belated but Scott's part just because it took a long time for them to do it and ship it and all of that but you're probably going to think once you see this that even more than you may already that I'm a crazy cat lady because I got a new iPad cover and it's custom and it's all Duncan Scott designed it and had it made and I think it's great because anytime that I look at my iPad I will smile and be happy because it's got my favorite kitty on it so hopefully he'll help me put that on soon at some point but now I need to get some rest and I'll talk to you tomorrow Good 
morning and Merry Christmas Eve. I dressed as Christmassy as I could in my green and red. I'm off to work for my half day, so I will see you when I get home. I'm home, brought some stuff over to the neighbors, those bread, one of those breads I made the other day. Did a few other things I need to take care of, and now it's time to finish the rest of my wrapping. But I've come upstairs in the guest room because I have to keep it hidden, so I'm gonna take care of that now. I can't remember if I told you, but we are headed to Scott's parents for Christmas Eve. We're kind of having a less traditional Christmas Eve and having Chinese food, but I haven't had Chinese food in a while, so that should be tasty. And don't really know what the plans are other than that. We're heading out in a little bit, so I'll update you if there's anything fun and festive going on. Let me know what your Christmas Eve traditions are down in the comments. I hope you had a good one. We are home now. Had a nice evening at Scott's parents. Now I'm in my comfy pajamas here with Duncan. And we're just waiting for Santa and Santa Paws to come, aren't we? Yeah. We're all ready for them. Yes, we are. Merry Christmas. Good morning and Merry Christmas. I'm pleased to report that Santa and Santa Paws have been here. Let me show you. Stockings are all filled. So we'll be opening those once Scott is awake. I'm making some Pillsbury cinnamon buns this morning because that's kind of my tradition that I've started for myself for Christmas morning. Second year that I've done it. Maybe more than that, but second year that I can remember. So I'm going to get these making. Well, there they are, about to go in the oven. Took me forever to get the package open because I didn't peel back enough, but they're ready to be baked. Cinnamon buns are done and looking tasty. Time for stockings. Duncan will do his first, of course, and then we'll do ours. So, I'll time lapse it for you. loved all his new toys. I wanted to share a couple of the things that I got in my stocking with you. One is these cool washable and reusable makeup remover pads and it says they're makeup removal, facial cleansing, and machine washable made of bamboo. So I'm looking forward to trying those out. And then also these microfiber cloths that Jessica, no Duncan, that Jessica Braun had suggested because she uses them. So that way you don't ruin your normal towels and you can keep reusing them and everything. So that's good. No Duncan, no Duncan, no Duncan. What Duncan was trying to show you is two pretty new nail polish colors that actually go quite well together. One's gray and it's called Graffiti. And then the other one, no, is pink with like a little bit of shimmer and it's called Pink Up. And then some candy that I might do a taste test later. If not, I'll do it separately. Trolley Sour Bite Trees. Never tried those before. Some collapsible straws that I can keep with me. Also, I think a recommendation of Jessica Braun. And then a notepad that is so me. A latte to do. Definitely me. So that's it for now. Gotta go change and get ready to head to his sister's house. We're off. I did a little shimmer for Christmas because I like to shimmer 
and of course, classic red lip, and I'll see you later. We are home now, have been for a little bit, and opened up our Christmas gifts to each other. And one of the things I got I wanted to share with you, and that is that I got my own Enchanted Rose from Beauty and the Beast. So that will be very nice to have in many places. So there you go. Now we're just relaxing with the Christmas movie that was on AMC, AMC, ABC, that's called Same, ne Same Time Next Christmas with Leah Michelle. And so far it's pretty good. It's in Hawaii as well. All right, while I have a minute, I'm going to taste test these troll sour bites for you. We will see how they compare to Sour Patch Kids. This one looks like it's in the shape of a Christmas tree. Hmm. Interesting. They don't taste sour to me at all. It says sour gummy candy, but in comparison to Sour Patch Kids, they don't taste that sour to me. They're fruity, but not super sour. They're good, and I guess if you're trying to find a less sour candy, these would be a good option for you, but I do still prefer Sour Patch Kids over these. I did want to share, it's December 26th, and the tree is still standing, ornaments and all. It's quite amazing. Duncan has done a great job. We've had a few close calls. He's tested it a bit, but I never thought we would make it this long, so that makes me quite happy. I didn't get to end the vlog for you yesterday, so I thought I would do that now, but I really hope you enjoyed this year's Vlogmas. If you haven't caught up on them, I hope that you will do that, as well as the 12 days of Christmas. As I say, it took me many hours, but I hope that you enjoy it. I will be back in January with more videos and hopefully more vlogs. Let me know if you'd like to see more long-term vlogs like this than just weekly vlogs. I'd love to have feedback on that. But yeah, I'll be back getting back into recording videos for January for you. So, hope you have a very happy new year and I'll see you then.